Okay, let's start. I, I, I do not know why Mr. Wally chose such a difficult topic. Business and career continuity, the key to disaster. I don't even know what it means, but I'll try my best to explain to everybody. Okay, now, uh, okay, this topic uh, is a unique topic. You know, everybody here, some of you are young, some of you are older, you know, you know, in, in life, in life, we are always progressing, right? We are always progressing. We are always trying our best to move forward. Okay. But the problem is every single time when you move forward, disaster. You married the wrong husband. <laughs> you have a dumb ass boyfriend. You start a business. You went to America and you hate it. <laughs> you start a new job. You thought that the new job is better. Oh, it's even worse than your old job. Right? You start a new program. Oh, God. The new program is so difficult. You start schooling. Some of you maybe are studying a PhD. Oh my God, why is PhD so difficult? Right? That's what it means. It means that whatever, every single time when you try to move forward, it gets harder. Like I, I made a decision. Um, about five years ago, to hire Indian national workers. Right, Mr. Govit, Mr. Govit, wave to everybody so they know who you are. Uh, Mr. Govit is my staff, and he's from India. The first year was a nightmare. I swear, my mother, it was a nightmare. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> because, and I don't blame the Indians because they are different. You know, I'm a Singaporean, you understand? The way we work and the way they work is totally different. So everything you do in life, seriously, yeah, when you try to improve, will always be a disaster. Think carefully. Like maybe uh, Mr. Ryan Cupido, you know, maybe you found a beautiful girlfriend, you know, very sexy, model-ish, and that you thought it was a good idea, right? Because you're progressing. So every time you bring your beautiful girlfriend on the streets, or oh, you look so proud and you look so happy. Hey, but guess what? If you're broke, within one year, they will leave you. Beautiful girls don't like to hang out with dumb asses. You understand? Right? That's progressing. You see, that's how crazy it is. Huh? Like maybe Mr. Sharab Taban from Bhutan, maybe you decided to work in Japan, right? Because Japanese people pay good salary, right? Definitely more than the Bhutanese bosses in Bhutan. So yeah, I think it's a good idea. Then you go to Japan. Oh my God, the laws of Japan are so strict. And the, Jap the way the Japanese people work it's like crazy people. They work long hours. They work fast. They work stressfully. And we all know in Bhutan, there's no stress. And everything is slow there. So you thought it was a good idea? It became a nightmare. That's progressive. Okay, so I'm going to tell you how to solve these problems. Now, the first thing that you guys got to Always, always, always remember, this is the biggest weakness everyone has today, especially at your age. Emotions made you crazy. Okay, it's true. Come on, come on. Oh, man, you, you think that everything's a drama. Oh, somebody talked back to me on Facebook. I need to die now. <laughs> I made fun of Govit. He's against all the Indians in India now. 
Oh, you see, the, the whole problem with people today is that, you know, we live in a, okay, I, I'll give you three generation of workers. The first generation of worker is called your grandparents' generation. Those people have no IQ, but high EQ. That's why they take a lot of hardship. You see, they're not smart, but they work really, really, really hard. So the IQ, so the EQ carry along to your parents. Your parents are the second generation of worker. So when you have the EQ, you add the IQ. Where your parents, a lot of them are educated. A lot of them use internet. There was internet that you can do research. There's books for you to read. So people are brushing up their IQ. So your parents' generation is called the baby boomers. They are the most successful generation in the world. You understand? IQ and EQ combined. And then when you come to your generation, you're supposed to bring the IQ and EQ and something else, you know, so that you can surpass your parents. Guess what? You have IQ, but you left all your EQ behind. Now, always, always remember this. And I'm going to tell everybody today. To progress, to be successful, you will feel pain. You understand? I want everybody to understand this. Huh? If you want a great family, you will feel pain. If you want a pretty girlfriend, you will feel pain. Even Michelle Lamang Ming, if you want to come to my country to work, oh, please do not think that my country is Disneyland. You know, Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck running all over the places, welcoming you. No, Singapore is a nightmare. We work long hours. It's stressful, it's pressurizing, but progressive. You see, running a business, of course, we have a lot of young people here. here. Mr. Jofus, Mr. Joseph Lumbasi, 100%. Oh, he has a lot of aspiration, right? Look at your face. You have the I have aspiration face, okay? <laughs> I want to be like Elon Musk. I want to be like Steve Jobs. I want to have a lot of business. I want to drive a Corvette, a Ferrari, etc., etc., etc. All pain. Now, I'm old enough. I'm 46. Okay. Maybe I am the most successful person in this Zoom today. Everything is pain. Life is pain. You understand? People don't understand this. You, you mean like maybe Grace Nueva, maybe she wants to have five children. What? You think five children is not pain? Uh, you, you think it's not pain? But the, some of the guys here are also stupid. I want to have three girlfriends. Really? You really believe that three girlfriends will bring you happiness? <laughs> Mr. Joseph, you really believe that three girlfriends will bring you happiness? No. They will bring you three times the pain. You see, a lot of people don't understand this. You see, and that's why many people cannot progress. It's because they are afraid of pain. They are afraid of stress. They are afraid of people making fun of you. Okay, again, some of the people here, English is terrible. I can see some Central Asians here. I can see some Vietnamese here. I can see some Burmese people here. So a lot of Burmese people want to progress. You know, they want to progress. Huh? So obviously, learning English is part of progression. But guess what? 
A lot of Burmese people dare not speak the language. You know why? Because they are afraid of people laughing at them. Right, Miss Nasmin? I see you cover your mouth like that, so I know you're one of them. Yeah, you're smiling now, right? When you start to speak English, you become like a tortoise. Your head will go into your shell. Like, like a tortoise, you know, the head will go into your shell. And then you will be so shy. You see, because you are afraid of pain. Now, I'm old enough to tell you, pain is normal. Disaster is normal. Tragic is normal. Shit is normal. It comes with life. You guys got to always remember this. If I'm crazy today, let's imagine, let's imagine uh, I go crazy today. Why not I offer everybody here jobs? And I'm going to offer you $5,000 a month. Wow. <laughs> right? Will everybody be happy today? Put a thumbs up. Come on, be real, get real. Happy, right? All of a sudden, I become the most handsome Chinese man on this earth. My boss is so handsome. He's so smart because he paid me $5,000 a month. Oh my God, my dear, I will have the most pain. Okay, not you, me. What happened if 90% of you fail? I will go bankrupt. 140 multiplied by 5,000 multiplied by 12 months. I will go bankrupt. But then, but then, if I want to build my company to the next level, this is the risk that I must take. Because if I don't have 144 staff, my company will be small. If Mr. Joseph want Angelina Jolene to be his girlfriend, come on, Mr. Joseph, look at the mirror. Why the hell would Angela Jolene want to hang out with you? I believe that you're a nice guy, Mr. Joe. You look like a very nice boy. Okay. But why the hell would he want to hang out with you when she has millions of choices? So you must suffer pain. You must do better than her. You see, progression is always about pain. A lot of people don't understand this. They thought progression, like a lot of you, you know, when you graduate, you know, remember the day when you graduate, when you got your degree, when you got your certificates, when you got a diploma, oh my God, a lot of you think that life, life is, is, is going to be great. Life is going to be fantastic. You know, life is going to be easy. What the hell are you talking about? Man, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, life is always about pressure. When you buy a house, it's not free. Huh? It costs money. When you buy, a, you buy a Ferrari, wow, it looks good, huh? but it's not free. Huh? It costs money. Progression comes with pain. How many of you, and be honest to yourself, huh? and I'm going to tell you one more time, and I want everybody to be really, really honest with yourself. How many of you will are willing to go through this pain. How many? That's the problem. My company lost millions of dollars over the last two years, COVID. I swear to God, this is a true story. Okay. You know how much pain I went through? Can you imagine that? And I have 300 staff 
40 companies. Many branches are overseas. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine that the pain that I went through? Yeah. But as long as I want to progress, this is my life. I'm not afraid of pain. Mr. Mohammed Amin, Danish, do you know why I'm not afraid of pain? What is pain? The worst is I die. That's all. Think about it. What is pain? What is pain? Oh, my friends don't like me. Oh. Oh. How come he doesn't message me back? Oh. How come my boss don't give me a salary? Oh. Why is this Singapore Chinese boss on the Zoom making fun of me? Oh. He's an idiot. Why is this idiot making fun of me? I don't like him. I hate him. Why is he making fun of me? Yes, it's true. I understand that. Some of you are not born in ideal, ideal situation. I understand that. Some of you are from Africa, right? Africa is developing. There's corruption. If you're from Myanmar, there's army occupation. If you're from the Philippines, you know, it's not easy. Many poor people there. If blah, 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 B, 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 R, T, 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 yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I speak to millions of people. Every time when I speak to people, people like to tell me their sad stories, which I believe is real. In Bhutan, the salary is terrible, right? Because Bhutan is not a business country, right? Uh, the salary is like $100 to $300 per month. I know. In Central Asia, ah, yeah, a lot of women do not have opportunities. I know, I've been there, I understand that. And, and so what should I do next, Mr. Joseph? Uh, Mr. Joseph, you're a nice kid. Uh. I'll make fun of you a lot today. Should I go to the toilet and cry with you? <laughs> should I? Come on, Mr. Joseph, let me hug you tonight while we sleep <laughs> and we cry together and sympathize each other's problems? Is that what you want me to do? Seriously, honestly ask yourself this question. Is that what you want me to do? Is that, is that what you want me to tell the Burmese people? Yes, that's an army occupation now. Yes, it's true. Your freedom has been taken away. I get it. And... I agree with you 1 million percent. And so you want me to you want me to go down to this level? Is that what you want? So what happened if today everyone you see today, everyone you meet today agrees with you? Yes, all the Filipinos are poor. We all need to die now. Yes. All the Africans have no opportunities. We all need to die now. Yes, you are at maybe some other countries, I'm not sure. <laughs> yes, in, in Bhutan, there are no business there. We are all going to die now. Is that what you want me to agree with you, seriously? Is that what you want me to sympathize you? Come on, Mr. Kyo Hite King. You look like a muscular man. I can see you look like a guy that go to gym all the time, right? So you, you a big size man like you, you want me to come and tell you, sir, I agree with you. Our lives are doomed. Doom. How? Is that what you want? You see, that's how crazy we are. Every day we want, we are seeking attention. Every day, we want people to agree with us. Everyone, seriously. Miss Pang Ting Shen Tung. Oh, I married the wrong guy. Game over. Is that what you want to hear? Seriously, is that what you want to hear from me? You want me to go down to your level and agree, Mr. Mohammed? That's it, man. That's it. Finish. Finish. That's it. 
Why are we not born in a rich family? Is that what you want? Is that what you really want from me? People got to understand this. Pain is normal. Disaster is normal. Tragedy is normal. Why are you surprised with pain? Why are you surprised with stress? Why are you surprised with pressure? Why are you surprised with disaster? Why? Man, if not, Ms. Naz, Nazmin is from Central Asia, they know that Russia won Ukraine back for a long time. They know. Those people in Central Asia, everybody knows. You see, you have to learn to love pain. I'm going to teach you some crazy things today. Huh? Uh, please don't hate me. <laughs> please do not go to my Facebook and put hate comments. <laughs> you know, don't do that. This is my personal opinion. Doesn't mean that I hate you, all right? So please don't go to my Facebook comments and put, you know, hate comments. Uh, this guy, oh, I want to murder him, you know. Don't, don't put like that. Huh? Love to learn. Learn to love pain. Ah, Learn to love pain. Come on. Always remember this. Learning English is not easy. Learning Japanese is not easy. Studying a PhD is not easy. Doing three jobs is not easy. Making your wives happy is not easy. Making your girlfriend happy is not easy. Right, guys? Put a thumbs up if you agree with me. Come on. Yes, there you go. Right? Keeping fit. You know, like you want some of you want to be very sexy. Some of you want to have the six packs, right? Some of you, you know, like six packs, so like, like mine is one pack, but some of you want to have six pack, right? You think it's easy? It's not easy. Keeping yourself healthy is not easy. All good things comes with pain. Okay, imagine that you are a mother now, right? And then your children will give you nothing but pain. That's what you did to your parents. Nothing but pain. So why are you afraid of pain? Why? This is something that I don't understand. Seriously, I really don't understand why people are afraid of pain. Why? Racism is pain, but it's normal. Prejudice is pain, but it's normal. People making fun of you is painful, but it's normal. So why are you surprised? And that's the reason why many people are unsuccessful because they're trying to question the world. Why do we have so much pain in this world? Instead of understanding what pain is and use pain to your advantage. Recently, I have a staff. His name is Shankar. Okay, Shankar. And he's a Malaysian. So his mother, got cancer it's a true story huh? so he's currently on leave now in malaysia because he works in singapore so i allowed him to go back to malaysia to visit his mom so his mom is going for operation if i'm not wrong on monday okay cancer so when shankar speaks to me he expects me to sympathize him you understand so he's a bit sad so this so guess how i react I show him zero sympathy. You know why? Because my family, my wife's parents, die from cancer. My cousin, who is close to me, die from cancer. My brother-in-law, who is close with me as well, die from AIDS, HIV positive. 
Look at me. Am I sad? No. You know why? Because I have important people to rescue. That is my staff. That is my colleagues. That's my other families. So I told Shanka, you better don't show me your stupid look. I, this is a true story. This is how I speak to him. You better don't show me your stupid look. Yes, I do understand that you are sad. But that's life. That's life. Pain always comes first. Don't you understand? When the first time you ride a bicycle, you fell, right? Your, your knees bleed. You have, you have splinters on your elbows, right? Right? The first time when you go to school, right? People laugh at you. You know why? Because you're shitting on your pants. Remember when you're a kid? Kids shit on their pants all the time, right? Remember? And you're smelly and people are making fun of you, remember? And then you become smart. You know how to clean your ass in the future. <laughs> remember? Can you remember? Can you remember everybody? I think you forgot. You forgot that life, pain is part of life. Now, the strongest person in the world will always survive. Do you know why? Because he understands that pain is part of your life. Really. It's what we do with this pain that makes us magical people. If today I make fun of Miss Nuri Liao Kadirai Li Ba, right, English, and she got upset. Oh, this stupid Chinese guy, he's making fun of my English. That means you're dumb. Why do you care about my opinions? Why, do you, why does my opinions matter so much to you? Why? You do not know me. I'm, yeah, you do not know me. I'm just a stranger today. You just saw this stupid looking Chinese guy with a stupid looking cap on Zoom live talking to you now for the first time. So why do you care? Why do tragedies, all these things affect you so much? That is crazy. You see? And because you are so afraid of pain, you are so afraid of disappointment, you are so afraid of all the tragedy that might come, you stop trying. Don't bullshit me. Come on. 99% of you didn't try anything. What did you try? Oh, please do not tell me and say, Sir, you know what happened yesterday? I tried really hard at work yesterday. Really? Really? You're going to lie to in front of my face that Mr. Ryan, you really worked very hard yesterday at work? Correct. Be a man. Take ownership. You see? When was the last time you tried really, really hard? When? Ask yourself this question. When? When was the last time you tried really, really hard? Like some of you have boyfriends and girlfriends, right? Did you really, really love your boyfriend and girlfriend? Really? Seriously? Come on. Yeah, Mr. Ryan, look at your face. You see, why, why? Like some of you, you know, like some of the guys here, who, who are the guys that are singles here? Put up your hand, be honest, huh? Come on, who are the single guys? All right, okay, Mr. Aita, right? Okay, what, why don't you have a girlfriend today? Why? Because you're afraid of rejection. Then you behave like a crazy guy at the library, looking at the girl like a creep, you know, like some of the guys when they stare at you like a creep. And they're stalking you because you have no guts to ask her out. Because you're afraid. Of, imagine, this is how you guys look when you look at girls. Like KGB agents spying on girls, creeping out on girls. 
Akmala, uh, Govit, you're like that, right? Govit, put up your hand. Govit's my staff. Yeah, he's like that. <laughs> Creeping on girls, uh, uh, like that, like that, like a crazy man. Oh God, go just go and ask her out for God's sake. Either she say yes or no. That's it. No, I'm sorry, miss. I know I'm stupid. I need to go down. <laughs> That's it. Move on. Right? Again, some of you hate your work, right? True? How many people hate your work? Put up your hand. Yeah, you see? Oh, come on. It's not because you hate your work. It's because you're so crazy. You want everything to go according to your way at work. Example. I like, I want to do sales job, but I don't want to talk to people. Oh God, you know how, how dumb that is? I want to be a top customer service officer, but I don't want to communicate with people. Oh God, I want to be a manager, but why are people so stupid? I hate people. You want to deal with the Indians and you're complaining about the Indians? Isn't that crazy? You know, I have a staff. I remember, I, yeah, he was with me for 12 years. Huh? His name is Stanley. Oh, God, Stanley is a Malaysian Chinese. He is racist as F, man. You know, I scolded him so many times. He said, the Indian customers always give me problems. I said, no, it's your stupidity that gave you problems. The Indian people are the one that's giving you money so that you and your stupid wife can get married in a beautiful house. Stupid, right? You see? You see, ask yourself this question. Why do you suck at work? You suck at work because you are afraid of pain. Some of you are in sales job, right? Right? Your boss gives you KPI. Why must you give me KPI? Why? Right? Some of you are in engineering. Why? Because engineering have to go outside, right? Like some of you come from Myanmar or, or Philippines. There's no winter. All right? So it's so hot. Why is engineering? Why? And you know, you wear the, 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 mat, the, the helmet, right? And you wear the overall suit under the hot sun. And then you're complaining why engineering job is so hot. Isn't that stupid? Some of you are teachers. Oh God, teachers. Why are these children so crazy? Because they are children. Ryan, man, if you have a pretty girlfriend, I hope you have a pretty girlfriend. Pretty girls are crazy, Mr. Ryan. Understand whether you believe it or not. From my experience, my friend, pretty girls are crazy. They are entitled. But that's life. <laughs> you see? So, so what the hell is everybody doing here? What the hell are you guys doing every day? Really, what? You see? So because of your ability... So, sorry, sorry. It's because of your non-ability to take pain, not prepare for tragedy, not thinking that stress, pressure is normal, you're stuck. It's true. You think what? If I'm going to pay you $50,000 a month, what do you think you're going to do in your country? Ask yourself this question now. Huh? Let's imagine I'm so crazy. Huh? I'm going to pay you $50,000 a month to work for me. What do you think you're going to do for me in your country? Admin job, accounting, engineering. No, you're going to sell drugs for me. You understand? But of course, selling drugs is illegal. I get it. I'm not stupid. I'm not, hey, I'm not a drug pusher. So don't go to my Facebook and try 
this company is selling drug. It's an example, okay? It's an example, uh, right? So, okay. So same thing. Why criminals take high risks? Why? Because being a criminal will get rich the easiest. But if they get caught, they will face the most severe punishment. So you're not going to be a criminal and, and tell the world that you're afraid to go to jail. You mean that you, once you become a criminal, you are mentally prepared that you will never go to jail? That's the problem with people today. And because of our non-ability to take shit, we are not growing. We are not growing. Now, I like to use this good example for people here. Okay, now, I, I don't know whether some of you have been to my training before. Uh, this is an example that I always use for every training that I have. Now, imagine this. You want to, you want to make money. Okay, some of you maybe want to make money. Huh? Okay, let's imagine this. Huh? Uh, like who wants to make money? I'm not an MLM company, so don't misunderstand. I'm not Mway. I'm not New Skin, so don't worry. Huh? So anyone want to make money? Put up a hand. Come on, put up a hand. Okay, everybody wants to make sal one high salary, one good income, right? So I ask you one simple question. So obviously, every time when I ask you, hey, do you want to make money? I want to, but I don't have this opportunity. My country is corrupted. I don't know anybody. I have no network. I have no money to invest in anything. That's what, this is the normal answers I always get for pe from people. So let me explain to you something. And I want everybody to understand this. All of you come from a different country, right? True. So all your country have specialties, right? Like for example, Africa has art. Like I know a lot of people like African art. Okay. Vietnam is famous for coffee, right? Burmese, Myanmar, and Bhutan is famous for Buddhist items, original Buddhist items, right? And of course, um, India is famous for spices. So you can see, uh, you know, everybody has different specialty. Now, have you ever thought of trying to sell all these things to Europeans? Okay, I'll give you one good example. Mr. Joseph, you're from Africa. Uh, you're a handsome boy, you know. Mr. Handsome Boy, uh, you're from Africa, right? You know, Americans like African art, right? Yeah, they do. Okay, because there's a lot of African Americans in America. Okay, so they like art from Africa. So usually an American that buy arts from Africa, they will go to a shop in America that will buy an art that is made in China at 120 American dollars. But an African art that comes from your country, you can sell at 20 bucks, right? So why are you not selling to these countries? The Norwegian can pay for it. The South Koreans can pay for it. The Japanese people can pay for it. The Singaporeans can pay for it. The Australians can pay for it. The British people, the Canadians, because these are so-called top-notch countries. Because of the currency exchange, 20 American dollars is a McDonald's meal and a Starbucks coffee. So why are you not selling to them? Because you're afraid of pain. What happens if you cannot do it? Will somebody laugh at you? Understanding markets need knowledge. You're afraid of studying because studying is stressful. You're afraid of communicating with people because you worry that people will make fun of you. That's why most people today are losers.
Now, I'll give you a final good example, Ukraine. Now, you know there's a war in Ukraine now. Now, a lot of you can tell me that you come from countries that have war. I believe you did. But please understand this. Your enemy is not Russia. Russia has nuclear bombs, unlimited soldiers, hundreds of bombs dropping on your head. Yet, millions of Ukrainians are fighting against the war. These Ukrainians are just like you. Some of them are teachers, some of them are FMB people, some of them are admin, some of them are even toilet cleaners or factory operators or bus drivers because they understand this. They understand that they have to go through this pain in order to get the things that they want. This is a good example of what success is about. A lot of us avoid pain. A lot of us avoid humiliation. A lot, you know, you know, I always tell people, why do you care about what people think about you? This is something that I don't understand. Why do you care? Why do you care about how people think about you? Why do you care? Are you going to marry them? Are you going to marry them? Just like if I, if I, if, 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 what, Joseph, if I don't like you, why do you care? I don't like Joseph. Why do you care? Oh, but you know what you will do, Joseph? You will start to think, why he doesn't like me? Oh, yo, oh, why, why be, why do you care? Why do you care? So now you understand? Now you understand what disaster is? Fuck pain. Fuck disaster. Fuck people laughing at you. I honestly don't care. So what if I'm poor? Because I was poor before. So what if I come from a broken family? Which I did. My parents were divorced when I was young. So what if I don't have an education? I'm a high, I never finished high school. So what? So what? Of course, life for me is hard because I have a lot of things that I don't have. But I'm mentally prepared to go through all the pain to get the things that I want. Are you? Are you mentally prepared? Everybody want high salary. You're crazy. Shit, man. If I pay you $10,000 a month, man, half of you will not be able to sleep every night, man. The pressure and the stress that comes along with a $10,000 paycheck, you think there's no pain in that? Some of you want to be celebrities, prime ministers, presidents. You think there's no pain in that? When you're the president of your country, you think it's easy? There's no pain? You think everybody sleeps well at night? The more success you have, the more pain you will go through. So you must treat pain like your friend. Like Govit, wave at everybody again. Oh, shit, man. This guy give me so much pain. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, really. Govit, be honest with them. Do you not give me a lot of pain? Put a thumbs up if it's a yes. Don't kiss my ass. Huh? Put a thumbs up. There you go. You see? Pain. What's wrong with a bit of pain? What's wrong? <laughs> What's wrong? What's wrong with pain? Nothing. Love pain. Love the pain. You understand? So these are the problems. So let, let me give you a tip on solutions. How to handle pain. I think this is what you need to do. Now you understand, right? What pain is, huh? So I'm going to teach you a tactic 
on how to grow with pain. Now, this is something that I always do. It's called the 2P theory. 2P theory. Okay, what is 2P theory? 2P theory is two-person theory. That means each of you must have two characters. Character one, character two. Character one is you, the original you. Like Mr. David, Le Nung Yen Tian, the original you. Okay? Understand? Mr. Ryan, the original you. Miss Hossein, the original you. Miss Kadek, the original you. Okay, this is you. There's nothing wrong. Please, uh, there's nothing wrong with you. So don't go and look at the mirror. How come my eyes is so big? <laughs> Why do I have big eyes? <laughs> Why I look weird? No, 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 no. There's nothing wrong with you. This is you. Okay? You have to be you. This is the original you. The second person you need to do is to develop a character. Now, this is something that I learned from actors and actresses and performances in the world. You see, you, you like to watch movies, right? True? Everybody likes to watch movies, right? Uh, um, maybe 90%, right? So I believe everybody has a favorite actor or favorite actress, right? Some of the actors are geniuses. The way they act, they act like criminals. They act like astronauts. They act like Teachers, they act like, you know, restaurant owners, right? Acting parts. When you have a job, when you have a job, a business, a position, a role, act the part. Right now, I'm your trainer. I'm acting the part. You think I'm so positive at home? <laughs> you really believe every day? Hey, what a beautiful day! You think I'm like that every day? Come on, let's get real. <laughs> I go to the toilet and look at the mirror. Oh, it's going to be a beautiful day. Really? Really? If I do that, means I'm crazy. Because I'm like you. I have emotions. You understand? I have my good days. I have my bad days. So the key thing is that whatever you do in life, when it comes to the time that you need to perform, stop bringing your character, your original character into the job. You understand? Even maybe I'm the only guy in this world that have period. Okay? <laughs> maybe. And I have a training class coming on. I cannot. Oh, oh, it's so painful. It's so painful. Yes, it's painful. I understand that. You know, I have female colleagues. Some of them are so painful. They ask me to take half a day off. Yeah, I understand that. But when you come to the role, when you come to the role, you have to act the part. You see, a lot of people are stressed is because it's because they are, you know why they're stressed? It's they're stressed because they cannot do the part. What is the part? Come on, what is the part? If it's a sales job, the part is talking to people. That's it. Why is talking to people difficult? Why? It's because your original character is a shy person. You understand? Your original person is a shy person. So when you bring the original part one person into a part two position, it gets hard. Some of the girls here cannot cook, right? True. Some of the girls here cannot cook. I know that, right? But you know, if you like a guy that you really, really love and the parents want you to cook, you're not going to be stupid and go and tell the parents, hey, I am Rosemary Guzon. I do not cook. Obey or leave. You are crazy, Miss Rosemary. That's the original character. Keep the original character when it comes to a different part. 
So when you see your in-laws, hi madam, what do you want to eat today? Let me cook some eggs for you. And then you learn, play the part. Everything we do today, everything we do today is all about parts. Tomorrow when you go to work, you are part of a teacher. Tomorrow when you go to look for a job, you are part of a job seeker. Tomorrow you drive a bus, you are playing the role of a bus driver. Tomorrow you go into gym, you are playing the role of a gym guy that's doing a lot of exercises, you see? When you want to lose weight, you play a part of losing weight. So you got to immerse yourself in all these characters. So again, a lot of people have the answers. Now I'm going to squeeze all the fucking answers from you now. I want you to think carefully. What is the part of a businessman? Everybody knows. Right? True? Everybody knows. What is the part of a teacher? Everyone knows. What is the part of an engineer? Everyone knows. And that's how fucking crazy it is. Now, I want you to imagine me now working in McDonald's. Okay, you know McDonald's, right? Sell burgers, french fries, you know, Coke. Man, I will kick ass in the McDonald's. Oh, God. If you work with McDonald's with me <laughs> and you stand next to me selling burgers, man, I'm going to kick your ass. Really. I'm going to be the best hamburger stuff that ever exists in McDonald's history. You see? But when I go home, the original me came out. Like, for example, Mr. Kwa Hete King. You go to gym, right? Put a thumbs up. I know you go to gym. Mr. Kia Hete King, right? You look like a muscular guy. So when you go to gym, those people that, that, that like to go to gym, you know, you act the part, right? Right? That's how you perform. Uh, 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 uh. Then you put the Rocky music, the eye of the tiger. Right? And then you go to the gym like a crazy man because you're acting the part. Like Mr. Augustine, right? You like you go to the gym, right? Right? You act the part, right? Wow, you are focused. You are like this, yeah. You see, you are like this genius guy. You are in your motion. But then when Mr. Augustine go home, he's a different person. <laughs> That's life. Don't you understand? It's true. It's true. You are afraid. You're afraid of stress. You're afraid of pain. So the key to encounter pain you know, I'm going to tell you something crazy that I've learned in my life over the last 20 years of pain. I think life is like the Matrix. You saw the movie, The Matrix? Like Keanu Reeves, you know the movie, The Matrix? Like it's like this world is like not real. I really believe that this world is not real. What's the worst case that's going to happen to me? Death. But guess what? Everybody's going to die. Think carefully, yeah? What's the worst thing that can happen to me? Death. It's true. What else? Cry? Oh, Miss Lorila, break up with me. She doesn't want to be my girlfriend anymore. Oh, my heart is so broken. Oh, I like David. I'm gay. But David is not gay. Why? Why David is not gay? <laughs> why I'm gay? But why David is not gay? Why God didn't make David gay? I'm secretly in love with him. That's crazy. Come on. The worst thing that can happen to you is death. 
and all of us are going to die. Act the part. Act the part. Everything that tonight, maybe Ryan, uh, you know, tonight you're going out with your girlfriend. Maybe, uh, and then your girlfriend is going to bring your parents along, right? And that's called the part of kiss the parents' ass part. <laughs> kiss the ass of the parents. <laughs> so when you go and eat, you serve the parents all the time. Auntie, do you want chocolate? Ta-da, here, give, him, give you. <laughs> Uncle, you want rice? Let me give you rice. Kiss me ass, huh? What's the big deal? What is the big deal? What is the big deal? What's the big deal of making your future parents-in-law happy? What is the big deal? Leave your original character at home. Tomorrow, when Ryan go to work, I swear, Ryan hates his job. <laughs> really, really hate his job. Every day, look at his boss. Oh, I, I want to beat him up. I want to beat the shit out of my boss, man. <laughs> Every time. What, what is the big deal? Seriously, what is the big deal? Seriously, think about this. What is the big deal? What is the big deal? You see, everybody have a part to play. You understand? Do your part well. Like, if you know me well, I swear, if you know me well, huh? okay, if you know, if you know me well, and um, no matter what job I will have today, okay, if I work in McDonald's, if I work as a teacher, or I work as a toilet cleaner, or, or, or a factory operator, or a gym guy that go to the gym, or, or landscaper, man, I'm going to be the best one there. Really. I'm going to be the best toilet cleaner ever. <laughs> really. That's me. That's me. I'm going to be the best ever toilet cleaner that ever exists on this earth. That's me. You see? Why? What's the big deal? What's the big deal of cleaning toilet? You know, some of you hate cleaning toilets, right? What is the big deal? Think about it. What is the big deal? I'm not fighting Ukraine. Huh? It's different. Huh? If I'm stationed in Ukraine, fighting the mighty Russian soldiers, it's different. What is the big deal? Okay, because every time when we don't give 100%, you know, you do not know how good you can be. Like, look at Augustine. He's not a young guy. Look at his muscle. Augustine, show me your muscles again. Quick, hurry up. Show me your... There, there you go, you see? Look at his muscles. He's not a young guy, you know? But if he didn't act the part, how would we know an older guy like him can have so much muscles? How do you know? How do you know that you cannot be the best engineer ever? How do you know that you cannot be the best salesperson ever? How can you know that you are not the best teacher ever? How do you know that when you never act the part? Most of us go through life not giving 100%. Do not lie to me, please. I have 300 staff. <laughs> I know how people are like. How do you know? Really, how do you know? How do you know that you cannot be a lawyer? You know, when, okay, how to be a lawyer? You see, I'm going to share you something even crazy. How do you know you cannot be a lawyer? How do you know? How do you know? Seriously, how do you know? If I ask you, anybody can be a lawyer here. Oh, lawyer is so difficult. It's so stressful. I have to study a lot of things. 
Again, you are afraid of pain. So what does a lawyer do? How to become a lawyer? Let me teach you how to... This is a trick I'm going to teach you now. Huh? How to become a lawyer. Huh? Okay. This is how you become a lawyer. All you need to do is take a law book. A law book. And read the same law book five times a day. For 365 days. It's called studying. So what is studying? Studying is reading. Understand? Who cannot read? Put up a hand. Who cannot read? Anybody cannot read? Let me see. Let me see. Anybody cannot read? Oh, everybody can read, right? Right? True? So why is it hard? Why is it hard? Why is it hard? It's because you are afraid of pain and you didn't act the part. When you don't act the part, you become ungrateful. Really. Yes, your boss suck, but they still pay you money. <laughs> yes, your boyfriend is dumbass, but he still gives you money. <laughs> yes, your country might not be ideal, but you still have a rooftop. Yes, your job is stupid. You see so much customers, but you're paid. So when you never act the part, you are never grateful. So when you're never grateful, you will never be able to find out who the hell you truly can be. Not who you are. That's the difference. Huh? Who you are and who you can be. That's a difference. Who you are is the person that you are today. The, the person that nobody likes, nobody wants to be. No, like I, I, I'm in love with David. I wish David is gay, but he doesn't want to be gay with me. You know, uh, that's who you are today. Who you can be is David because of my love, my true love. And he's touched by my true love. After 10 years, he come and tell me, Benson, I will be gay with you today. <laughs> That's called who you can be. Now you understand. Because you never, because you are always avoiding pain. And you never act the part. So you do not know how amazing you can be in the future. Think about this. Some of you are very particular about looks, right? I know some of the people here, especially you guys are the social media generation. I'm not beautiful enough. I'm not pretty enough. I'm not handsome enough, right? Yes or no, guys? Put a thumbs up. Come on, let's be honest, right? Let me explain to you, you silly, silly, silly people. If you Google China businessmen today, if you Google, please, huh? everybody after tonight, Google China businessmen. China businessmen are the ugliest creatures on this earth. They are fat. They have no hair. They wear the goggle glasses. You know the goggle glasses, the big glasses. Like, you know, he wanted... He, he, like, like David, yeah, David, your glasses, like that. The big goggle glasses. <laughs> right? And they have no color coordination, no sense of style. They wear orange T-shirt yellow bright pants right see so imagine all these guys want you as girlfriends what would the girls think here right that's what that's your reaction right I, I... but guess what when you open their wallet and you see one million dollars you would think that fat is cute you would think that big goggles like David is stylish. It's a trend thing now. Yes, yellow color t-shirt, orange pants. He has character. <laughs> he has no hair. Good. Summer is cooling. So he doesn't sweat so much. You see, that's why China people 
those businessmen are the currently the richest people on this earth. Because they don't care. They act the part. You know how many people make fun of fat people every day? You know how many people make fun of ugly people every day? You know how many people make fun of bald people every day? But these people do not fucking care. And please, I'm Chinese. You think people are not racist towards us? You believe that? Or just because African people get racism, we don't get racism? You believe that? Correct. These people do not care. They go through years of pain. They treat pain like their best friends. China people are so fucking crazy. They go to Philippines to invest without able to speak English. You tell Rosemary to go to China to work. I don't want, I cannot speak Chinese. The Chinese people are so crazy. They go to Central Asia to invest there. They can't speak Russian. But Miss Nurila, if you tell her to go to America to work, what happened if my English is terrible? What happened? China people are so crazy. They go to Africa, right, to invest. And they do not know African culture. There you go. Pain at the part. And you will truly understand how great you can be. A lot of you don't understand what kind of power you can have. Really, you don't. I'm sorry, you don't. Because I'm old enough to see a lot of crazy people during my generation that has no money, that face so much problems in life to reach to where they are today. Okay, I'm telling you whatever I'm saying is true. It's true. You have no excuses. You really don't. You are not supposed to have excuses. Excuses are made by humans. It's not, can, have you ever seen a giraffe made an excuse before? Have you seen a dog made an excuse before? When a dog loves you, the dog will love you. When a dog wants to bite you, he will bite you. Did you see a lion give you an excuse before? Oh, I don't want to eat you because I think that I have period today. <laughs> have you seen a fish make an excuse not to swim? Oh, I think I cannot swim today because I, my, my belly is too full. I eat too much. Only humans give excuses. But don't you know that we are the most brilliant creatures on this earth? Don't you know that? You want to know? Very simple. Every, this is something that I always use in all my training. Everything you see in your house made someone a millionaire. The ugly yellow color traffic shirt that Rosemary is wearing made somebody a millionaire. Rosemary, uh, please do not walk on the streets later. Uh, later, there's, there's traffic accidents because of you, because top people thought that you're a yellow light. All right, so stay at home. The ugly color walls that you have in your, in your house, Mr. David, your wall is ugly. But guess what? That made someone a millionaire. Everything, your haircut, your style, your, you know, your haircuts are dry and you have a short hair, crew cut. That made someone a millionaire. The curtains in your house, the windows, the glass, the toilet, the toilet brush, the toothpaste, the toothbrush, the microwave, the fish that is in your refrigerator, the ugly looking rotating fan you have in your house. 
made someone a millionaire. So what the hell are you talking about? The hijab, Miss Damira, you know the hijab that you're wearing now? That made somebody a millionaire. Everything you see, Miss Sabera Amandi, you know the hijab that you're wearing now, the blue color hijab, made someone a millionaire. Everything. Now you get it, guys? Put a thumbs up if you understand me. Good. Go out and kick ass tomorrow. Really. Believe me. Go and kick ass tomorrow. Seriously. You, 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 when you start to think like me, you always see the glass half full. When I start to think like you, I always see the glass half empty. Really. Now, I'm not crazy positive. I have problems, you know. I'm just like you. I'm, I have problems. I, I feel sad sometimes. I feel depressed sometimes. I feel unmotivated sometimes. It's true. It's true. But the difference is you have to love pain. I have a lot of tattoos on my body. I have nine tattoos of my body. Nine. Nine tattoos on my body. Yeah. Each tattoo represents a big pain in my life. I want to remember it. I will never forget it. Okay, I have tat nine tattoos on my body. Each tattoo represents a pain in my life. Why should I forget my pain? And some of you want to escape from your pain, right? Some of you want to forget your pain, right? Why the fuck should you forget your pain? Pain make us strong. It make disaster made us strong. Tragedy made us strong. So why do you want to forget it? It's a good thing. Why do you want to forget it? When a girlfriend dump you because you are poor and useless, why do you want to forget her? Because one day, when you become useful and rich, she will remember you. Good. We have last half hour. So what's going to happen now, as usual, um, I will give you, it's called FAQ time, frequent ask question. This is the time when everybody pour their sad stories to me. all your problems to me okay so but because there are too many of you we cannot unmute everybody please type your questions on your chat box like some of the problems that you're facing today like miss like maybe ryan you have too many girlfriends and then you feel stressed and then i'll tell you because you're stupid the more girls more headache always remember that okay for those guys that think that having a lot of girlfriends is a good idea, you are stupid. More girls, more headache. Okay? So type your questions and um, um, if you have any difficulties. Now, okay. How do you measure success? Ah, that's a very good question. You see, success comes... How, okay. Success, to me, success is the day you don't complain anymore. Let me explain to you. If, if you say money is success, not really. If you say having a big family is success, not really. If you, make, if you get your ideal job that you want to, it's a success, not really. Success have different kinds of measures. Like some of your mothers are happy people, right? 
they never work in their life, but their joy and happiness is taking care of children. You see? So as long as you don't complain, that's success. You see, like me, I'm different. For me, I want to build things. That's me. You know why? Because when I was young, nobody wants to hire me. Nobody wants to give me any jobs. Nobody give a shit about me. So that was me when I was young. So when I grow older, I start to believe that I can create things. Look at Mr. Covid. Mr. Covid, put up your head. Wave to everybody again. Covid, put 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 your head so that everybody can see your face. You're not a KGB agent. Why are you hiding your face halfway? Sit higher, higher. Move. Your, yeah, yeah. Correct. Look at Mr. Covid. Do you think he's the best worker in the world? He's not. You see. So my success, how I measure success, is the ability to create things for normal people like him to prosper. That's how I measure my own success. For you guys, because all you guys have different dreams, different hopes, different beliefs, as long as one day you do not complain. Can you imagine one beautiful day when you wake up, hey, there's no complaints, you know? Uh, I look at my children, ah, ha, 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 ha. I, I look at where I am, ha, 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 ha. You know, that's success. That's what I believe, okay? The day you, happiness is not success, lah. come on. There's no such thing as happiness. <laughs> you have a husband, your husband will give you a headache. You have children, children are painful. <laughs> The money that you invest on your children, there's no ROI. There's no return of investments. Understand? So I don't, I don't really believe in happiness. Okay. Sadness and happiness to me, it comes together. Okay. But I believe in no complaint. So as long as one beautiful day when you wake up and there's no complaints anymore, that's success. That means you have achieved the things that you want. That's so why you're not complaining anymore. Understand? Okay, next question. Um, okay, hold on, hold on. Huh? Okay, you're consult consulting today, sir. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Why business and co career continue is the key to disaster? I don't get it. It's because to be successful, you have to continue. When you are continuing, always prepare for disasters, tragedy, and sadness. Okay? I try to do work successfully, but I don't do because my brain and mind don't go ahead. Well, I'll be honest with you. The biggest problem with you is you are not learning anything. When we do things, when we do things, there's always two components. Practical, mindset. Practical is every day you do. Do, 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 do. Mindset is learning. Every day you learn, 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 learn. Most people today, they think that learning is enough. You understand? So for example, if you study a certification program in management, you really believe that's enough? Come on, Malaysians are different. Indonesians are different. Africans are different. Central Asians are different. Filipinos di are different. You think your degree in management can help you manage these people? If you think that is, that means you're insulting the Filipinos' intelligence. You're insulting the Vietnamese intelligence because you thought that a piece of paper and you can manage the whole Vietnam. Isn't that crazy? So... The key is not to be perfect because you cannot be perfect. The key is to continue to have the culture of learning and doing. You do, 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 do. You learn, 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 learn all the time. You see, there is no perfect plan. Don't misunderstand. Uh, although my training is great, it's not perfect. You understand? Although some of you like me, but I'm not perfect. You've got to always remember this. 
There is no perfect plan, no deadline, no nothing. It, learning is a lifelong thing. Do you understand? Doing things and learning always must come together. You see, like this is a true story. Uh. Listen, recently, I learned how to do air con, air con cleanups. You know how to clean up your air con, you know, you know maintaining your air con servicing. I learned it through YouTube. Seriously, I did. Just a few months ago. And now I can do air con maintenance at my house. And I save 150 bucks every month. So, so doing and learning, there's no end line. There's no end game. Do you understand? There is stop thinking there's an end game. Life is continuously progressive. There is no deadline. There is no end game. There is no project ending. Push forward. So why people cannot connect? Because you are half, half. Your learning skills are half. Your doing skills are half. That's why it doesn't work. Like for example, a lot of you want to exercise, right? Everybody thinks that exercise is great, right? Who doesn't? Right? So exercise is doing. But how many people really do it? Because your mind is not learning. So when your mind is not learning, your actions doesn't come along. So it has to be a habit. It has to be a culture of learning things all the time. There is no perfect plan. There is no perfect goal. There is no... All famous companies in the world nearly went bankrupt. Starbucks nearly went bankrupt. Disney nearly went bankrupt. Marvel nearly went bankrupt. IKEA really went, nearly went bankrupt. You understand? Facebook nearly went bankrupt. Kelsa nearly went bankrupt. You understand? Jolly B, the famous brand in the Philippines, nearly went bankrupt. You understand? Understand? Learning continuously. No end game. There is no end. If there's an end game, the end game is called death. Only you die, everything will stop. Okay? Next question. How can you explain contentment about business? Um, okay. Contentment means like, are you satisfied, right? It's hard to say. To me, I'm never satisfied. Not because I'm arrogant, not because I'm greedy, not because I'm crazy. Because I can do more. If I can do more, why not? Just like everybody here can be special, right? Why do you want to be average when you can be special? I don't get it. What is content? What is content? Content is giving up. Do you understand? I just want, you know, like sometimes you go to Facebook and they put the means, you know, the means like, if you don't have money, it's okay as long as you are happy. Really? You believe that? Love is the most powerful thing in the world. Money is not that important. Really? You believe that? Now, can you go to the bank and pay your loans with a hug and a kiss? You go to the bank teller. I love you, Mr. Bank teller. Can you don't chase me money today? <laughs> Contentment is you giving up. Why do you want to be average when you can be special? I mean, that's from me, huh? okay? You, you can either agree or disagree, okay? Next question. Procrastinating is my problem. Yes, it is. It's everybody's problem, right? Everybody. Oh, I, I, I don't know whether you should ask him out or not. Oh, then he went out with someone else. <laughs> I don't know whether I'll take the job offer. The job went to someone else. I don't know whether I should study this program. And then you become dumb. Procrastination. Is everybody's problem, not just me, not just you. It's a normal problem. Always remember this. This is what I always teach people to make sure you don't overthink. 
as long as long as it's not against the law, as long as you are prepared for losses, go for it. So what do I mean by this? For example, if Miss Hossein want to start a business selling T-shirts, okay, Miss Sherell, right? You calculate to invest in this business is one thousand dollars, and you are willing to lose this one thousand dollars. Fuck it, go for it. You understand? Go for it. When you do business or work, always prepare for pain. Remember, I told you, prepare for disaster. When you are willing to accept disaster, go for it. Why do you care? Just as some of you want Singapore jobs, right? True. And some of you girls and girls are overthinking. Ah, uh, what happens if Singapore doesn't like me, right? Why do you care? The worst case scenario, you go back. <laughs> Your house is still there. <laughs> Your country is not at war like Ukraine. Huh? Your house is still there, right? So now you understand procrastination is overthinking. What happens if I get married and I give birth and giving birth is painful? And then when I give birth to the child, the child is a dumbass. I'm going to pay so much money. And then when my child gets into criminal activities, he will go to jail. You become a, a, a god. You know, only God can predict the future. You're not God. Understand? Only gods can predict future. So why are you predicting the future? So I always tell people, the key to procrastination is very simple. Don't overthink. Prepare for losses. You understand? Maybe if I'm a scam, maybe I'm a scammer today, I'm selling you a car, right? And you're overthinking. What happened if this car is a scam? Maybe it is. But as long as you're, as long as you're prepared for losses, go for it. You see, just like tomorrow, Miss Ting Tu from Vietnam, you have a job and you're thinking, what happened if this job is not suitable for me? What happened if all the bosses hate my guts? So what? Go for it. What's the worst case scenario? You resign. You see? That's how you control procrastination. How can I raise capital to start up a business? You can't. <laughs> you know why? Because you're not good enough. And let me explain to you what I mean by this. Okay, now, the girls here, let's talk about the girls here, right? All girls like to have a cafe business, right? Yes? Right? Right? Most girls that I know today, they hope that one day they can have a cafe business. So obviously, a lot of you are not from F&B industry. So why would I want to invest money in you? Because you are pretty? Or because you have a PhD? No. No. That's never going to happen. You understand? Right? So don't worry. Be patient. First, you need to know what kind of business you want to do. So for example, Miss Rosan, Rotoni, Robles, you want to do F&B, right? You want to have a cafe. Just work F&B first. Choose the job that you want to be in business in. So when you go to an F&B job, you better be the best customer service officer ever. You better be the best marketing people for F&B business ever. You better be the best barista that ever exists in your country ever. Because why? That's called free training for your business. And you get paid. And you get paid. So can you imagine if you work in my F&B cafe, you become the best marketing person. You become the best barista. You become the best customer service officer. You become the best cook in the whole stupid cafe. That is the time when people see you, they will invest in you. You know why? So when an investor asks you, can you bake cakes? Ta-da! Oh my God, this cake is beautiful. The, the investor will ask you, can you make coffee? 
Uh, is that how they look when they make coffee? <laughs> oh my God, this is the best coffee. Can you do marketing? I'm going to invest in you. Getting people's money to invest is a responsibility. Always remember that. Your word is your reputation. If you fuck it up, that's it. Nobody's going to invest in you anymore. Be the best. To raise capital, you can't if you do not know anything. Just because you have an idea doesn't be people think that will invest in you. Well, I, I know it's that some people I know from the universities. I, I went to South Korea recently and I do a speech there. Some of the Korean universities always tell me, sir, I, I really want to open a cafe. Sir, I really want to do this. Sir, I, my, I think my idea is good. You know, blah, blah, blah. Hey, nobody cares. Really. Nobody cares. The president of South Korea doesn't care. The president of Kazakhstan doesn't care. The prime minister of Australia doesn't care. The prime minister of UK doesn't care. The Singapore prime minister doesn't care about me. You understand? He care about what I can produce. You understand? So be the producer. Be patient. Like for example, right, Rosan, if you, like, you want to open a cake shop, you want to open a cake shop, work in a cake shop. Work in a cake shop. You understand? You know, sometimes for those people that cannot find the jobs that you want, but you want to do business, right? First, you must know what business you want to do first. Work in that company. It's not about the money anymore. It's about the skills that you want to learn from that particular business so that you can have the same business in the future. Do you understand? Like some of you like to drink tea. Some of you want to get into a tea business. Go and learn to work in the tea sector work in the streets, it's okay. What's the big deal? Like some, there's a lot of street stalls. Like I go to India and Pakistan all the time. By God, the Pakistani and the Indian people, when they go on the street stalls, they make the best tea ever. Work on the streets. What's the big deal? Because you know you're not concerned about how people look at you. You want to make great tea. Street vendors in Pakistan and India made the best tea ever. Work there. After one year, leave there and you get investors. You tell the boss like this, boss, you drink my tea. I promise you, if you drink my tea, you will love my tea and I can do sales. Then people will invest in you. People don't invest in ideas. Everybody has an idea. People invest in the person with the idea. Be that person, not be that idea. All ideas are crazy. Understand? SpaceX by Elon Musk. Ha -ha! Creating spaceship so that all of us can go to Mars for holiday. You know how fucking crazy that is? That's a crazy idea, right? But we invest in Elon Musk. Electrical cars. Huh? You only know how to charge your handphone. Really? Can a charger charge a car so that it can drive 240 kilometers per hour? And if any one of you present this case to me, I think you're crazy. But Elon Musk tell me this thing? Yeah, I think it's a good idea because we believe in that person, not the idea. Always remember that. Be that person, okay? Having less girlfriend can be successful. It depends. <laughs> Girlfriends are expensive. So if you're broke, don't hang out. <laughs> but some guys are crazy. They love the responsibilities. More girlfriends, more stress, do better. <laughs> so, so, yeah, but, but, but the truth is, yeah, it's true. You have to focus on yourself first. How can I build good business? Build yourself. What is the right time when you say that you can succeed? There is no right time. There is no end game. Success is a culture. It's not a project. 
It's not how many millions of dollars you have in your bank account. It's not how many cars you drive. It's not how, what kind of houses you have. Success is a habit. You know, a habit like going to gym, having breakfast, going to toilets. <laughs> you understand? Success is a habit. There is no right time. The right time will come when you die. Understand? Okay, next. I'm surrounded with negative people. How do I deal with them better? Don't hang out with them. That's it. Stay away from them. Why do you care about their opinions? Right, David? If I'm gay and you're not, even if I come and every day pester you, right, you tell me to F off. <laughs> Right? Same. Man, negative people are everywhere. Why you care? Why you care? Why you care? You're not going to marry them. Right? You're not, if your wife is negative, then you marry the wrong person. <laughs> if your husband is negative, it's your fault. You marry the wrong person. All right? Better divorce him. Okay? Now, Negative people is everywhere. Never ending. I swear to God, if you murder 50 negative people today, 100 negative people will come up. If you bomb 3,000 negative people today, 50,000 negative people will show up. Negative people is shit. Shit is part of your life. Remember? Disaster. All these things, right? It's normal. When I look at negative people, it's like, Changing my underwear. Seriously. <laughs> it's not... Uh, are you negative? Do I look surprised? No. I don't. Because it's normal. It's like combing hair. Like Tashirin Dama. You have beautiful, silky hair. So negative is like combing your hair every day. You know? Just accept them but don't listen. Accept them, but don't listen to them. All right. Next question. How can you start business from scratch? I taught you before. Get the business that you want. Work in that industry. i like you to advise us once a week. I can't because I'm too busy. <laughs> but I'll try. I'll try. Okay, I'll try. All right. Uh, you said that it's love will succeed. Yes, it's sort of true because you must love the things that you do. You must love the life you live. You must love the business that you are in. You must learn to... You see, the problem is we always look for love, but we never learn to love. You see the difference? You see the difference? So I'm going to teach you the difference. Huh? Learn to love and look for love. A lot of girls are crazy, you know. Seriously, the girls all want a handsome man, a man that must have money, the man must have a career, the man must treat their parents well, the man must be very kind-hearted, the man must have fixed pack and have muscles, the man must be funny. This man don't exist. <laughs> That's called looking for love. Learn to love is different. Learn to love means I don't like this man, but I will learn to love him. So when you learn to love something, the chances of succeeding is higher. You understand? The chances of succeeding is higher. You understand? So like, for example, some of you don't like your country but you are in your country. So when you are in your country and you don't like your country, you see negative things everywhere. But when you start to learn to love your country, you see positive things everywhere. So for example, Tershering Dema, you're from Bhutan. A lot of Bhutanese people are complaining to me, sir, there are no good jobs there, blah, 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 blah. Correct. I, I admit it. It's true. But then learn to love your country. Because there are no, not much many jobs there, maybe it's time for me to create business there. Maybe it's time 
for me to get people from China to invest in Bhutan. So that's opportunity for me. That's called learning to love something. Looking for love is hard. It's really, really hard. What do you really like? Come on. What do you really like? Correct. You see, right? Learn to love is, is easier. We don't have any slides today. Yes, we don't. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm not a slides guy. How can I build good business in my life? I think I've explained. Uh, okay, what a powerful, encouraging, brilliant lesson. Uh, yeah, thank you so much. They, I have learned to embrace my pain and move forward. Yes, it's true. Fuck pain. Hey, pain is your friend. Some of you have to go home tonight and you see your wife and your wife is going to give you a lot of pain. <laughs> Learn to love it and you have a happy life. <laughs> okay. How do I deal with all the things and people who do things that trigger pain? Um, you cannot stop them. They are like haters. They will hate you forever. You understand? Accept them. Accept them, but ignore them. Don't run. You know, some people have enemies here, right? You run away from your enemies, right? Fuck your enemies. Why do you care? When you run your enemies, run away from your enemies, you, you get more stress. You understand? Look at your enemies in the high. Accept who they are, but ignore them. That's the only thing you can do, all right? Okay, I can. Okay, thank you, 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 thank you. Could you share with us about your achievements? Um, I can tell you one thing. I nearly went bankrupt four times. <laughs> During my 20 years, I nearly went bankrupt four times. And uh, every single time when I'm about to go bankrupt, I built the company two times the size. Okay, that's my biggest achievement. My biggest achievement is not money because I really don't believe in money. I mean, I believe in money, but I don't. I believe in the abilities to earn money. You understand? Always remember this. Uh, don't look for money. Look for the abilities to make money. When you look for money, you can never find money. Because money is like a pretty girl. Pretty girls don't hang out with dumbasses. <laughs> That's my thinking. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> so if you're a dumbass, money will stay away from you. So never look for money. Look for the ability to make money. So example, Ryan can be the best cook in your country. That's your special. That's called the ability to make money. Maybe Nurila is the best teacher in your country. That's the ability to make money and money will come. So, so I'm never afraid of losses because I always tell my family, we were born poor, we can die poor. What's the big deal? But I want to live an interesting life, I told them. I want to fight for my dreams. Even if I fail, it's fine because I don't want an average life. I don't want a life that wake up early in the morning, take the bus. Ah, you know, like sometimes you go to the Philippines, you take the jeep, ah, squeeze yourself in the train. I don't want that kind of life. You understand? So I'm prepared to risk it all. But that's me. Uh, that's me. Uh. It, it doesn't work for everybody, but that's me. So, so that's my belief. You understand? So yeah, correct. All right. So my achievements is my ability to rebound every time I face pain, okay? I don't have achievement, you know, like, like, like a beautiful house or billions of dollars in my bank account. I don't have that. But I have, people can see what I have because I do have a lot of companies and I do have a lot of stuff, you know? So people can see that and judge that. But that, to me, that's not important. What is important is, is, is my, my only achievement that I feel that I have, and I'm very, very proud of it, is I don't give a shit what people think about me. Really, I don't. Some of you hate me. Some of you will like me. I don't care about those people that hate me. Because you know why? I always fight to the very end. That's me. That's my achievement. 
I'm not the smartest person on this earth. I'm not. I'm not Steve Jobs. I'm not Bill Gates. I'm not Jack Ma. Those people are special people. I'm not that special. I'm not, I'm not really that special. I'll be honest with you. But what makes me special is my spirit. My spirit is my achievement. You know, that's my specialty. All right? Um, okay, I think I answered the question. Why is success as dangerous as failure? Of course. Because... Failure is success. Success is failure. Okay, what do I mean by this? Everything we do have pain. Exercising is painful. Not exercising is also painful. Poor is painful. Rich is also painful. When you have boyfriend, it's painful. When you have no boyfriend, also painful. <laughs> now you get it? Now you get it? When you learn English, very painful. When you don't learn English, also painful. So, love pain, love success. Uh, what a lesson. Uh, yeah, we, we do have recordings. Uh, usually what we do is every time when we do recordings, uh, you can, we can put in our YouTube channel. So you can go to the YouTube channel to check it out. All right. Um, I never say no. It's no my word. Correct. It's true. It's important. You see, I always believe in one thing. When you, my favorite quote, I'll tell you what my favorite quote is. I'm going to tell you what my favorite quote is. Uh, give me a minute. I'm going to tell you what my, my best quote, the quote, that, the quote that I always use all the time, my favorite quote of all time. I'm going to, I'm going to tell you what's my favorite quote. Okay. My, I always use this quote and I always put this quote so that people know. Huh? The quote is, when you have decided it's over, it's over. I repeat again. When you have decided it's over, it's over. One more time. When you have decided it's over, it's over. That's my quote. All right, thank you so much. I feel disappointed when I achieved my goal, but I don't know what should I do. Can you please explain how to solve, solve this problem? Okay, because you treat goals like a sales target. You understand? That means to me, goals should be never ending. Earning more money should never end. Finding happiness should never end. Making yourself better never ends. So when never ends, every day, you're just thinking of ways to make yourself better. That's all. So when every day you make yourself better, good things will happen. I don't give myself a target like, like oh, I want to have 5,000 companies or 6,000 people. That's not me. Okay, that's genius. I'm not a genius. Genius people can do that. For me, it's very simple. I don't care. I just want to be better every day. That's all. As long as I strive to be better every day, during my life journey, I will achieve things. So I look at myself. I don't look at outside first. So the key thing is you have to find ways to be better every day. So if you're better every day, good things will come along. The first girl is not that pretty. The second girl is okay pretty. The third girl will be prettier. The fourth girl will be the prettiest. You know, that's how, because you, you become richer. So when you become richer, <laughs> right? you drive a normal Honda Accord from a Honda Accord become a, a Nissan, from a Nissan become a Mercedes, from a Mercedes become a Rolls Royce. You know why? Because you don't look for the Rolls Royce. You look at yourself when you are always better all the time, 
your bank account will grow, everything will grow accordingly. You understand? So there is no end game. I repeat again, there is no end game. Huh? Um, okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. When my family is not supporting you financially due to lack of interest, what should you do when you deal with the situation? Fuck your family. Why are you asking your family for money? Your family doesn't owe you anything. Your brother doesn't have to invest in your business. Your mother doesn't have to like you. <laughs> there's no such law in the world that your mother must like you. Always remember that. Huh? There is no such law in the world that your father must love you. Is that a law? Your father must love the children. That's not, it's not against the law. Come on. Your father should be responsible for you. Yes. To make sure you don't do stupid things. That's against the law. But the law didn't indicate that they must love you forever. So don't go home and tell your mom, mommy, why don't you love me? No, that's, that's not against the law. You understand? That's not a, once you're 18 years old, they don't have to give you anything anymore. You're an adult. Under 18, yes. Above 18, no. They can kick you out of the house if you don't have a job. That's not against the law, huh? You understand? So you understand. Again, it comes back to you. If you have no money to do business now, learn the skill sets of the industry that you want to be in and be the best worker in that industry. When you are the best worker in that industry, people will invest in you. I will invest in you. I'm not going to invest in you now. You understand? How you, I'm going to ask you 15 questions. You cannot answer me. How are you going to do sales? How are you going to manage people? How are you going to make sure that this cake is better? How are you going to, you, you, you're going to fail the interview. You're going to fail the investment interview. <laughs> Seriously, you are going to fail the investment interview. You understand? So be the top player first. When you're a top player, then you can be the top businessman. When you're a top player, people will invest in you. Okay? Uh, what is the biggest challenge, sir, before you achieve who you are 20 years from now? Every day is painful. Last year was a painful year for me. I lost millions of dollars. The most losses I ever had in my life during COVID. Seriously. Seriously. Last year was the worst year I ever had in my life. In my life. You know? But I'm okay because I know that the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Always remember this, the bigger you are, the harder you fall. So the key thing, again, is you must prepare for the worst and the best. So once you prepare for the worst, you can prepare for the best, okay? What happens if I'm a sales person, but I fail to get the customers? What do I have to do? Because nobody likes you. So the problem is you. Look at the way I speak. Look at the way I speak. Look at the way I speak. I, I think I'm a good salesperson. So the key is not the product. The key is still you. When you look at the customers, you see, the, the whole thing is that all of us are always looking for shortcuts. Is there a tactic? Is there a shortcut? Is there a strategy? No, there isn't. There isn't. The answer has always been about you. Train yourself to be like me. And you can do sales. Hey, man, I can sell anything, man. I can sell cakes. I can sell t-shirts. I can sell hijab. I can sell fish. If you see me at the fish market, I am king of the fish. I'm going to kick your ass in fish sales. That's the thing. Be like me. Have the same thoughts like me. When you change yourself, you can sell anything. So the key is still you, not others. There's no secret recipe. There's no shortcut. What social media marketing, digital marketing, it's the same thing. When you go to watch YouTube, right? You follow influencer. You follow influencer that is great. You don't follow influencer that is shit. There's so many shitty influencers on, on, on TikTok and YouTube and Instagram. 
Why did you follow those influencers that are great? It's because they make themselves great. You see, so it's still you. That's no tactic, huh? Uh, I think I've answered the question. How do the big companies recover their losses? I have no idea. My company is not that big. I'm not at Apple condition yet. <laughs> okay, can we talk in private through your email? I mean, I don't talk through emails, but what Govit can do is Govit can give you my Instagram and my Facebook account on the chat box and maybe you can tag me, all right? All right, I think I have a lot of questions. Oh, so many questions. I got 106 questions. I think I need to put a stop now because time's up. <laughs> I'm sorry if I don't have the opportunity to answer all of your questions, okay? Now, guys, listen up. Um, again, uh, I cannot tell you whether my plans are the best plans in the world. I cannot tell you if I'm going to tell you that I'm the best trainer in the world, I'm a scammer because I know I'm not. You understand? I cannot tell you that my ideas and my suggestions are the best in the world because if I say that, I'm also a scammer because I know these are not the best suggestions or the best ideas in the world. What I can tell you is my life. This is my life. If you feel that my life relates to you, then follow. If you feel that my life doesn't relate to you, don't follow. You have to find your own way. You understand? So life is like that. Don't be upset with life. Life comes with the good and bad. You know, never get angry with life. You know, why are you angry with life? Never get angry with life. Life will be happy if you understand what happiness is. Life will be even happier if you know how to understand, to control disasters, sadness, and, and prepare for the worst. That is what life is about. Life is you. It's you. Only you can save yourself. No one is going to come. We are not in Disneyland. We are not in a Disneyland movie. Uh, uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, or, 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 or what, what, what else? Uh? Sleeping Beauty. We are not in the Disneyland movie. We are not. If you are, you're lucky. And only 10% of the world is lucky. 90% of the people are not lucky. So my advice to you is very simple. Love pain. Love pain. If you love pain, you will love anything. <laughs> Understand what I'm saying now? If you love pain, I swear to God, oh my God, you will love anything. If you face, if you love shit, you can do miracle things. If you can go through disasters, your life will be even better. It will be even better. If you can handle a breakup, You'll be happier the next time when you meet your girlfriend. That's what life is about. First, we need to love pain. Only when you appreciate pain, understand pain, acknowledge pain, don't avoid pain. That's the day when you can be special. All right, guys, that's it. 7 p.m. Thumbs up. I need